All right, let's be clear. To all you newbies out there and you want to be collectors who think you know, Hasbro has not sent out samples to anyone but Hasbro employees. And as we know, <laughs> your mans ain't one of them. Second, if you come to my channel, tell me I stole his pictures, I'm going to delete your comment and send you on your way. Because how can you steal from something that's already been stolen? Okay, it's stupid. Second, every website posts up pictures of the toys that they uh, review. And that's where I get them from. I don't even watch their damn channel and I don't really care to watch their channel. And this is now reporting the news. Don't like it? Do yourself a favor. Kick rocks. This is for the people that just want to understand what's going on with the toy. In front of us is Override, a female Transformer from Transformer Cybertron. In Galaxy Force, it was Nitro Convoy, and he was voiced by a male. So they're basically a sense to two different characters. This is the Hasbro release from 2005, 2006. Um, I used to own this one, but I quickly sold it for reasons of knowing that the face you really can't make out the details because it's big, almost like one red splotch. Now this one was a better repaint. Odd repaints, they were very odd during Cybertron. These repaints were just weird. But I actually like this one because you can see more of the face. Now if I'm not mistaken, there is like a dark, dark version of this in Japan, but I'm not remembering or sure if I can find it. They used to do a lot of repaints for the Galaxy Force toys. Now I actually own this and I, if I can dig it out of storage, I'll find it. This is Nitro Convoy. This is the Japanese version, Takara repaint, which matches the animation and makes out the better details with the teal on the thighs and the gold face. And of course, if you got him, it's a him, not a her, so to speak. And then there was this recolor. I can't remember where this was from. My friend actually owned this. And I always said that Override was kind of like the antithesis to Hot Rod and Hot Rod and Optimus Prime had a very similar color in the masterpiece, just like this. So to me, they match each other. But we're gonna get into the modern flavor. And this is the vehicle mode of the new legacy override. Now, I'm not gonna lie, they did a good job of capturing the 2005 version, but making it better. And in slight contrast to what they did with Galaxy Convoy, this looks a heck of a lot better. Now this, if this is the way that Hasbro is gonna go with these re-imaging of the trilogy, I might be in on it. I really do like what they did. I am impressed. This will be a Walmart exclusive. So here we go again. I don't know why, but apparently they just wanted to do that. So. You know, again, uh, let's just hope that, you know, we're able to get our hands on one. But yeah, so far it looks good. It always looks like it has bat wings at the top. I don't know if the blast effects actually come with it or not again, because there's no packaging. We don't know what this thing comes with. And I'm not going to, you know, vouch what the thieves do. But I got to admit, I do want this. Like, I mean, I'm getting Minerva vibes. I'm getting... Alita One vibes. We need more female Transformers. And whether you want to repurpose this as Override or Nitro Convoy, that is up to you. I might just do this as Override because, you know, Convoy is more of a Japanese thing. And it is a title, as we well know, throughout their various toy lines. And here it is, the toy next to Hot Rod. And I got to say, it looks good. And the fact that we're getting the clear tires, oh man, that's a plus. And the vehicle mode, they're about the same, but everybody was thinking it's gonna be a retool of hot rod. And no, they they went they went a lot better with this. And the robot mode. So the robot mode pretty much resembles more of the Japanese colorations because the face is gold and not that red like the American version was. The side profile is real lean, you know. I mean, you can go either way with this figure, kind of like Prime Star Scream um you know what they did with him and repurposing him into uh, a female version and i can't think of the name right now um but you know what i'm talking about and it just looks good like i could see this being in the collection i want this like 
I really do want this one. So I want to be on the lookout for this. And I just love the proportions. The proportions are much better than the original. But I'm not going to talk about the original because this is, you know, almost 20 years ago that we actually had the original. Again, the close up of the face, clearly taken from the Takara version. That is the Takara version 100%. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, this is modern articulation. It should be better. See, like with the prime figures, you know, we were getting closer and closer to where we're at now. But back then, you know, articulation was weird. Some figures had it, some figures didn't. It was just the luck of the draw by the time you got Cybertron coming out of Energon. Um, but yeah, this thing looks really good. Standing, even standing next to this piece of crap, you know, re-imaging of uh, Galaxy Convoy. Uh, standing next to Hot Rod. Like, I could see this being like a pair. You know what I'm saying? Like a, a, a you know, male and female pair going out to battle, you know. And again, I give them credit. No similarities whatsoever. Um, posability, yes. Modern posability to the T. And fairly large for Deluxe standing next to Blaster. Blaster is one of the larger Voyagers. Um, head to head with Prime. And here's that, you know, one arm kneeling pose thingy that all body does. Uh, this thing is great. This is a figure done right. Hasbro, you gotta clean up this leaks, man. They're getting way ahead of it. And in a way it's spoiling the fun. So when you release it, nobody really cares. So again, I'm not gonna fault the thieves. I mean, I'm gonna fault the thieves all, let me rephrase that. But I'm just at a point where I just not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna report the news as it is. Let Hasbro deal what it does. You know, but I'll never ever say that they're great people. Hell no, they're not even great reviewers in my opinion. And they will never be in my opinion. So if you don't like that again, kick rocks. But yeah, I really do like this figure. I'm happy. I'm pleased. I want it. You know, this is, I mean, wow. Look at it. It just looks good. So what are your thoughts? Leave them down in the comments below. If you have any of Super Robot Ed, just bring you the news. Until then, we'll see you soon.